Hey, I love it up here. It's Aaron Gantley here, the negotiator, Agent 88 from Harcourts Cooper & Co. And finally, the time has come for my blog on the Auckland Unitary Plan. You might be wondering, or if you don't know what the Unitary Plan is, what it is, what it's all about, well, that's what I'm here to tell you today. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but I'm just going to let you know what you should know and how it might affect you. So the Auckland Unitary Plan has been designed because we're going to have another million people come into Auckland over the next 10 to 20 years and we've got to make room for them. We've got to fit another million people into here, into here, all around here. How do we do it? That's what the plan is all about. So in the past, all of our properties have had zones. You might have heard of zone 4A, 4B, where you can subdivide if you had something like 900 square metres, you could subdivide into two lots and put a big brand new spanking house on the other 400 square metres. Well, that's the problem. Over the years, everyone has been subdividing and putting big houses onto these lots, big five and six bedroom houses. Frankly, we've got enough of them now. So this plan is to make the city more condensed. We don't want to spread it out wide. We want to create properties where we can build one, two, three bedroom houses. We have zones now like mixed housing suburban, mixed housing urban. We have terrace and apartment zoning, and then we have single house zoning. And there's even, for the likes of Devonport here, heritage protected zones. So I guess the important thing to know here is that there's now no longer density rules. So it has nothing to do with the size of your land and how, how much you can divide that up into dependent on the size of your land. It's not like that anymore. How it is now is with most of the zoning rules, so mixed housing suburban, mixed housing urban, as long as you're meeting the height to boundary ratios, you can actually put on as many properties as you like. The mixed housing suburban allows you to go two levels and the urban allows you to go three. For example, the apartments and the uh, terraced housings even more so. When you do find where your property sits in the zoning, it's not just the be all and end all. If your house is in mixed housing suburban, it doesn't just automatically mean that you can do this or that. You must look at overlays and things like that as well and make sure that there's uh, no restrictions to what you can do. Just last week, I sat in on the meeting held by the Auckland City Council in collaboration with the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand, where we were informed that 80 to 90% of the plan will be in operation from mid-November this year. That's in two weeks, guys. It's happening. Whether we like it or not, you should know where your property sits and what it means to you. So there it is, folks. I hope that gives you a little understanding of what the Auckland Unitary Plan is, why it is, how it affects you, the sellers, us the agents and of course Auckland for the future. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and if you liked it please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Aaron Gantley, Agent 88 The Negotiator.